No police. Maybe. Huh? We've had a call about somebody with a guitar case, which could be that, who's apparently have a, have a gun on them. How to stay calm no matter what is the scenario? I have been asking this question many times by my friends and colleagues. Why I am always calm no matter what is the situation I find myself in. And also they told me to make a video. So yeah, it is. Let's first understand what is calmness and then how you'll be able to cultivate it. And I will share with you a scenario I find myself and how I stay calm and will step by step tips to help you learn how to cultivate it. If someone says to you, you are very calm, what they mean is that you are a peaceful, you know, without worry, without hurried movement, or without loud noises. A calm person does not show or feel any worry, anger, or excitement. It is a state of tranquility. It usually takes a trained mind to stay calm in the face of great deal of anxiety and possible destruction, and especially emotional one. The negative emotions are the greatest challenge to someone who is attempting to stay calm. Here are a quick list of some discipline that will help you develop calmness, such as prayer, yoga, relaxation training, breathing training, and meditation. For me, concentration is the essential ingredient if you want to cultivate calmness. Your state of calmness will only be as robust as the capacity of your mind to be calm and stable. Without concentration effort, your mind will be all over the place and you will not be able to reflect in with any accuracy. Less choices and decisions you have to make, easier for you to be calm. You know, to illustrate, I am using the scenario I found myself last year. And I had a video about it too, so I think it's somewhere here. Someone seen me putting my camera together and decided to call the police, but precisely the anti-terror armed force. And in a matter of minutes, I was surrounded by the armed force with guns. And when I saw the guns, fear gripped in. And in that split second, I had few emotions flooded in. Fear, anger, anxiety, and confusion. I feared for my life, to be honest. And I felt angry because I was targeted due to the color of my skin, I assumed at that moment. And inevitably, confusion followed. It all happened in a short space of time. In one hand, you know, my brain was racing to comprehend what was going on. And in the other hand, my ego was fueling me, fueling my anger. So you can see, it was war going on inside of me between my ego and my brain to understand what is happening. How do you stay calm in that situation? Tell me. Have you assembled, were you in the park when you assembled this? Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. gimbal. Because they, they thought you were putting like silencers on guns. Oh. So that's what they've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were. As you can see from the video, right, how calm I was, right? But let me tell you that that is something that I developed over time and it became natural to me. Every time I find myself in those type of situation, it just go through the step by step and stay calm. So I'm gonna share with you those, you know, few steps here. So get yourself ready. If you have notebook, please have it in hand. So, you know, there's some writing that can be useful for you. Step one, get the fact. Get the fact by asking yourself this very important question whenever you find yourself in an unfamiliar situation. It is really important to get the fact right. 
So I ask myself first question is what issue I am facing? In my case, I am surrounded by the armed police who guns are they real? <laughs> Very real indeed. So what should I do? What would be my ultimate goal? That's my next question I did ask myself. My main goal here is to come out of the situation in life and go back home as nothing has happened. That's me answering the, my question. Then the next question I did ask, how can I achieve this goal? So I said, to come me understand what I am accused of and provide argument to dispel whatever I am accused of. Because so far I don't know what. Next question I did ask myself, was I anxious about the outcome? Yes, I was very fearful for my life, of course. So the next question I did ask myself, if I'm anxious, so then what is the cause of the anxiety? Well, my answer is I don't want to get shot or put in prison for something I am not or have not done. Or I don't see anything I have done wrong in here. So by asking myself this question, I created a mental picture of the situation and how I am going to navigate to come out of it. Happy ending for everyone. So now we move to step number two. Analyze the fact that you know you gather. So after gathering the fact, you should analyze them, but be honest with yourself is really important. So I ask myself, what is the worst that could possibly happen to me as a result of that situation? And what can I do about it? I'm asking this question because I want to analyze the fact that I gather. So what I understood with time is that every time I find myself in an unfamiliar situation, my ego always trying to take control of the situation. My advice to you is to never, never let your ego take control of any situation. Let your rational and focus the task on hand be dominant. So for my case, what the worst that could possibly happen to me, I did ask myself. Well, my answer is that I'm going to be shot if I do something silly, such as running or be aggressive or pick a fight. But can I fight them? Absolutely no. They have gone. Why would I fight them anyway? So let me have a conversation and analyze the fact. The problem is not them. We are in the UK, not the US, where they shoot you first and ask you question later. And here I can reason with the armed police here in the UK. Have you assembled, were you in the park when you assembled this? Yeah, 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 yeah. The gimbal. Yeah, because yeah, they, they thought you were putting like silencers on guns. Oh. So that's what they've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, we were, um... Yeah, 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 we're putting the, yeah, the gimbal same. together. There you go, that makes sense. Really? <laughs> Lovely. Cheers, cheers. Well, I said, you know, they're doing their job. So I should also do my job by being calm and explain my case calmly. When you're analyzing an unfamiliar situation, you're usually using two methods. Your ego and your rationale. In this scenario, my ego was blaming me, telling me how could you allow this to happen? I felt a sense of injustice at being perceived as a bad person, possibly a terrorist, why they have come with guns, right? How life is unjust, how people are racist, and so on and so on. So my ego keep telling me that it wasn't just about me, it was about all colored people and the way we are treated and perceived. Step number three, come to a decision. You know, despite all these justified angry impulses, I come to a quick decision. 
by asking myself this question. Is is really a crisis? <laughs> My answer was absolutely yes, it is a crisis. Then next question, should I really worry about that? Then my answer was no. Worry won't solve the problem. It may just make it worse. So I said to myself, no matter what happens, stay calm, sir. In that suggestion, what would you have you done? Tell me. From experience, I came to learn that if we cannot control the outcome of a situation, it can lead to overwhelming feeling of anxiety and personal crisis. Controlling your feeling and emotion is a sign of calmness. Step number four, act on the decision. You know, after coming to a decision, please start immediately carry out that decision you have made. From this careful thinking and perspective, I try to remain calm by taking a deep breath, calmly engaging with the police to prevent the situation from escalating. I calmly started explaining what I was doing. I have shown them, you know, the tennis bag that, you know, they said we put the gun in it and ask them question to better understand what is happening. And we go off peacefully, no drama, no single bullet was shot or wasted. And I am here today in flesh and bone sharing with you the lesson learned. You know, I know too well that one bad move can lead to a fatal outcome. And I've seen countless of video in the US. I don't know why it made me laugh, but it's just a funny situation that I, every time I remember it, I just can't stop, you know, laughing. It's, it's really funny, you know, when you find yourself in those type of, in those type of situations. But anyway. <laughs> That was really funny. Time. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> that was a really funny time. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's not that's not tear of anxiety, yeah. It's just tear of happiness. <laughs> so if I could control myself in a situation like that, so you can. But you can just say to me that you cannot control it. Stop laughing, though. <laughs> but yeah, that's a different matter. Anyway, so let's sum it up. When you are trying to analyze uh, an unfamiliar situation, you need two things. First, you know, the ability to master your temper while navigating chaos, you know, without allowing it to drive you off your goal. And in this scenario, my goal is to get out of this a life. And secondly, the ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulty or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. I know I was angry, but that is not the right emotion at that precise moment. I need to be patient. I know that if I am patient and calm, I will ultimately be in control of the situation with the faith to believe that it will all work out well in the end. And if you are calm, you make better decisions and take control of any situation, trust me. And if you are patient, then you will live long enough to see the result of your calmness. Whoever is in control wins. So I was patient and I was calm. So I'm able <laughs> to sit today and share the lesson learned from that moment with you. We just stop, <laughs> you know, laughing because it's really funny, you know, when you find yourself in those type of, those type of situation when you see, you know, gun, you know, around you. But to be frankly, that's the first time, you know, I face 
you know, get an office with even worse situation, um, you know, than this one. And yeah, that's life and always life. Just my friend, you know, plan to be calm and everything going to be all right. I hope, you know, you like this video and share it with your friend. And if you have any tip that you want to share, please use the comment box below. And if you think that you could have reacted or done different way to come up with that situation, I would be pleased, you know, to hear it. Use the comment box below. So, my friend, thank you very much for watching. And God bless you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to bring you another video next time. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs>